This video has been sponsored by Care of. I've been experimenting with manifesting techniques for over 10 years now. I hate admitting that because it makes me feel old. But over the years, I've tried nearly everything from scripting to affirmations to those interesting TikTok trends that will give you carpal tunnel syndrome if you ever really did commit to them. Sometimes they just flat out didn't work. Sometimes they did work. But that true feeling of fulfillment that we're all after was never accomplished. And honestly, it just wasn't easy. I'm at the school of thought that, you know what? Life can be hard enough already as it is. So if something can be easy, why not make it be? And getting the love that you want, getting the car and career that you want, getting the fun and freedom that you want is no exception. I'm going to share with you during the course of this video the mindset and the steps that I've discovered actually work for long-term results. So you can finally start manifesting what you want in your life, more importantly, with ease. I know I have a really whimsical way of expressing my thoughts, but if you can just be patient with me, I promise you will get what you came for and you'll finally learn how to use your mind to achieve the things that you want in this lifetime. Before we continue with this video, you guys know I've been all about self-care and self-love recently and about expressing that self-respect in physical ways. So I would like to thank the sponsors of today's video, Care Of. Health should be personal, and Care Of helps take the guesswork out of what supplements are best suited for you and your goals. So you start by taking a short, in-depth quiz about your lifestyle and your health goals for a very personalized, doctor-backed recommendation. And then their high-quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and even powders are conveniently shipped right to your door each and every month. One thing I love about Care Of is that they've made taking my vitamins on the go so very convenient with their individual daily packs that are perfect for all the travel that I've been doing recently. The daily vitamin packs are made with plant-based compostable film to help limit the impact on the environment without compromising on the quality and safety of their products. As your needs and goals change, Care Of can always help you adjust your routine to match. Their quiz can always be retaken at any time for updated recommendations and you can also adjust your habits and routine tracking in the Care Of app. Since I've been using Care Of for just a little over a month now, my focus has increased, which being a content creator was the main thing I really wanted to improve upon. And without sharing too much, my gut health and my metabolism has also improved. I've always known that there is a connection between the health of your body and the health of your mindset, which is why self-care and care of has become such an important piece of the puzzle to me. So for 50% off of your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code Malika50. The link will also be in the description box so you can easily check them out. But again, for 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code Malika50. 50 and now let's get back to the video this was one of the hardest pills for me to swallow but i think that sometimes we get too caught up in goal achievement self-improvement and manifesting our best lives that we forget to enjoy the lives that we already have there is so much good and beauty in each day if we just stop and notice it we have slipped into a culture of getting more how do i get more how do i get what i want how do i manifest this how do i manifest that but when do you take the time to stop and just enjoy what you already have when will you give today the gratitude it deserves because you were chosen to have life today i would be lying to you if i never shared this video Everything that I have manifested in this season of my life was achieved as I enjoyed what I already had. You have to enjoy what you have in order to have more to enjoy. I never wanted to be the type of creator who just shared with you how to get more because that would be very dishonest to my character. When you know better, do better. And I don't know it all. But what I know now is that life is more than constantly trying to accumulate more physical accolades and rewards. At what point do we stop and recognize how far we've actually come and allow that to satisfy us if only for a day? The path to getting what you want in life with ease begins with being purely grateful for what you have now. Gratitude is more than saying thank you. It's expressed by how you use what's already been given, by how you enjoy it, 
how you love it. If you don't like the body you're in and you won't take care of it, what makes you think you are ready to receive the body that you dream of? You prove your sense of responsibility by how you appreciate what's already yours. You make yourself ready to receive it by how you take care of what's already been given to you. If you had the body that you dream of, you would honor it, you would take care of it, you would get dressed up, you would wear clothing that flatters it, you may be more active, you may moisturize your skin. If you had the body that you dream of, you would love that body and that love would be expressed physically. It just would be. But you don't do these things now because you don't have the body that you want. So why does it matter? Yet you are actively still trying to manifest the body that you want, all the while knowing that like attracts like, that you have to see the things that you want in your life as already done and live from that end state. So what are you doing? By your inattentiveness to your body as it is now, by your disdain of it, as it is now, you are showing the universe that you know you don't have the body that is worthy of your love and the universe has no other option but to reflect back to you that reality, you not having your dream body. You've got to take your goals off the pedestal. How can you ever reach for something if you view it as way above you? It's really difficult to align yourself with that goal or to identify yourself as a person who has that thing if you view it as out of your league. This is one of the reasons why when you start doing better in life, you lose a lot of people because they're now viewing you by your accolades and allowing that to determine that you're now out of their league. And it's the same with you and what you want to manifest in your life. How can you fully commit to manifesting and accomplishing something if you believe you're not worthy of it? There are so many ways to increase your self-worth, but we're not gonna take that route today. Instead, we're gonna work on decreasing the greatness of that goal so your perspective on it can change and you can feel that you are more than worthy of having it in your life now. And to do that, I'm gonna do what I do best and tell a long, boring story with far too many details. When I first started this channel, I didn't have any particular goals. All I needed was an outlet where I could express positive thoughts that would uplift me when I would have really, really bad days. It was shortly after I lost my beloved sister and I couldn't talk to anybody except for myself. But as the channel grew and grew, I started to see a way. I realized that this could be a new way of life for me, a life where I wouldn't have to compete or struggle to make an income just to survive. A life where I could travel and film the beautiful things that I had seen and share that with you and others and the man would pay me for it. It seemed exciting and it felt rewarding. I don't recall when it happened, but somewhere along the line, I created a goal. I wanted to reach 10,000 subscribers. I met that. Then it was 20,000 subscribers. I met that too. 50,000, 75,000, 90,000, on and on and on and on. All the while, almost every day, working to achieve something more. As I reached the summit of one mountain, all I could see was another one I hadn't climbed yet. And it's the same thing with my physical appearance. I was heavily overweight at 201 pounds and five foot one. The goal was 190, I met that. Then it was 180, I met that. Then 170, 160, and on and on and on. Now the goal is to combat premature aging. I had really badly blemished skin and all I wanted to manifest was even skin. I manifested that and now all I want is a better bone structure. I manifested my dream job working as an emergency first responder. I built it up so much in my mind to be honorable and humanitarian-esque, only to realize a few months later, my job description had become battling with substance abusers every day. And it's like, dude, <laughs> when does it stop? When do we stop and think about this here for a second? Because there is a pattern here. Your mind is an immaculate 
beautiful place to be that will glamorize everything that is not in your life at the moment. And once you achieve that goal, the reality of it will more times than not fail to meet your fantasized version. You have manifested before. You have manifested the job that you wanted. You did manifest the type of relationship that you wanted. You maybe even manifested the specific person and yet you're still here trying to manifest more. And why is that? What could it be? Is it possible that accumulating all of these awards for all of your effort are just not going to bring you that lasting fulfillment that you really want. And if that is the case, then tell me why do they deserve to be put on a pedestal? That man or the woman that you wanted, they were so idyllic and you put them up on a pedestal. Maybe you manifested them, maybe you didn't. As time went by, you started to notice where they fell short of how you visualize them to be. They're emotionally distant, they're rude, they're always busy, they're unfaithful maybe. That wasn't part of your SATS sessions, that wasn't how you scripted them to be, but it is part of the reality of who they are. I'm only saying all that to say this, take your goals off the pedestal. Put yourself on that pedestal instead. These imagined realities do not exist physically without you as the host observing them. And I think that makes you pretty damn important. You are more than worthy of manifesting what you want now. Anything physical that you want to attain is never going to be perfect because once you attain it, your perspective of it changes. It's like literally climbing a mountain. The view from the bottom is not the same at the top. Remember that. There is nothing wrong with self-improvement or with wanting more from life. It's natural. It's part of us. But I think that every so often you should stop and recognize how far you've already come. Notice where you are now and that it is not the same place that you started at. And it is beautiful here. And it is worthy of being celebrated. This is a win. You are a success story. Take some time to enjoy where you are now. Because where you are now is where you used to want to be. And if it was ideal back then, then it's ideal now, isn't it? The only thing that has changed between then and now is you and your perspective. And though it's not perfect, it is still more than worthy of being appreciated by you. Why not just take a day to enjoy what you have now and relish in the reality that you've already become and then get back to climbing your next mountain? This is why I've been looking at everything I want to manifest now in my life in normal lights with no more rosy filters because I can see now that some of us are just hungry and will always want more and it may never be enough to satisfy us and to kid myself into believing that the next thing will bring me fulfillment and that peace of mind is insanity. If you couldn't find fulfillment with what you've already manifested, if you couldn't feel successful with what you've already achieved, then what makes you think that weighing 110 pounds or the proposal or 1 million subscribers will do it? After 1 million, there's 2 million. After 110, 120 pounds, there's the hourglass figure and the better bone structure. After the proposal, there's the happy married life you have to maintain for Instagram. It really never ends. There is no shortage of things to get. So the life that I dreamed of, that I manifested, that I worked towards having, that I have now, deserves to be respected and celebrated and appreciated while I work towards creating the next life that I want now, all the while knowing that Attaining physical things just will not bring me that internal satisfaction, that peace that I am after. Fulfillment is a choice. Feeling successful and good and content and strong 
is a choice you make with what you've got. You can look at your life and notice the lack. You can look at that exact same life and focus on the abundance that is already there and allow what you see to determine how you feel based upon that. Now, if you're still here, thank you. You're my kind of person. I love you. You're willing. You want to get to the bottom of it. You want to thoroughly understand this so that you can make the changes that you want in your life. So I'm going to share with you something that I've discovered throughout all of my years of trying and trying and trying to be something better. This is really powerful and I really think it can change your life. And just so you know, I, I'm not on a pedestal here. There are still things I want to achieve in my life and I'm going to use what I'm about to talk about in the rest of this video in order to make those changes that I want to see. You watch me. I'm, I'm going to do it. We can do it together. Let's just face it. You cannot stop yourself. You can, but you don't have to stop yourself from wanting the things that you want now. You should have it, regardless of how grateful you are for what you already have. There's nothing wrong with wanting more. Go get more. It's fine. This is how you actually manifest what you want in your life now. Now, just follow me here for a second, okay? Standing in the state of the wish fulfilled means knowing in your mind that it's already fulfilled. Seeing it in your mind that it's already done, knowing that what you want now is already done. That is a really tall order though. And a lot of us cannot just flip a switch and make ourselves believe in something that our physical senses deny. And expecting you to do that is ridiculous. And to not share with you what I'm about to is gatekeeping. And what would I gain from that? A few years ago, I learned a hack from Abraham Hicks, God bless him. Abe says you could be wanting 100 things to manifest in your life and focus on only one thing that makes you happy and all 100 of those things would manifest. It was said during a seminar, so I can't quote them verbatim, but that was the essence of the quote. Since like attracts like and what you want to manifest in your life now should make you feel good, successful, calm, collected, strong, stunning, whatever it is that you want to manifest, it would make you feel good, then all you really have to do is find something pleasant in your life now that you already have and dwell on it. Find something in your life that makes you feel the way your manifestation, if fulfilled, would make you feel and saturate yourself in that feeling. Dwell on it because the universe doesn't understand much beyond frequencies, vibrations, energy. You can call them all feelings. So if you want to invite more experiences in your life that would make you feel calm and cool and collected, incorporate more meditation or take more nature walks. These are examples here. If you want to manifest more experiences in your life that would make you feel desired and loved, spend more time if it's okay with your significant other and touch them. If you're single, be more romantic with yourself. Moisturize your skin. I always talk about, I always talk about that. Moisturize your skin. Light some candles in the evenings. Read a book. Brew a chai. Spend more romantic-esque evenings and days and mornings with yourself. This is actually quite literally what I did when I decided that I wanted to manifest a relationship in my life and it worked. And that is what I will do again when I decide I want to manifest another type of relationship in my life, if it's romantic. If you want more money in your life, put on the best clothes you've got and buy the fanciest drink that you can afford. 
and go to a place where you think right now with your current perspective that rich people hang out in and allow yourself to blend in. Put yourself physically in the environment that you want to see yourself in. If you want to lose some weight or gain some weight, buy an outfit in your desired size and just leave it hanging outside your closet or wherever as if you're going to wear that tomorrow. That is something I also did that helped me to slim myself and that's something I'm going to continue to do if I decide I ever wanted to lose more weight or whatever. If you want clear skin, use a product, a, a foundation or a powder or a cover-up that provides medium to minimal coverage. Now, this one is hard. This one is hard. I did it, believe me. It's hard. But eventually, you will learn to feel more comfortable doing this. You will grow into that version of you, the type of version that is comfortable going almost barefaced. What's happening internally as you do these external things is you are reprogramming your frequency, in other words, your state of being, to match what you desire. You naturally, through these simple little physical actions, start appropriating the version of you that you want to be, and it has no choice but to manifest in your life. All physical change derives from a sustained internal change. I really do not care who disagrees with that anymore because there is just far too much evidence to support it. So yes, as within, so without. As above, so below. But if these two things are so connected, the internal and the physical, if they're so connected, then isn't it plausible that you can make minor adjustments, minor manipulations, which is a really fun word, to the physical world around you and trust that it would have a reaction on the internal world as well. This works by infiltrating your physical reality with little hints of your preferred imagined reality. I wouldn't have that bikini hanging outside of my closet if I weren't already the version of me that would wear it tomorrow. I wouldn't be at Yorkdale Mall if I couldn't afford the items that are sold there. I wouldn't shave my legs in the winter time if I didn't have a romantic partner in my life. That would be crazy. For me, up until this point, this is the simplest and most effective hack that I have found so far to help me feel as though the wish is fulfilled. And it's so subtle, it's so subconscious, it's insidious, I love it. This is a seemingly physical world and sometimes you've got to play the physical game and it's no worries it's nothing to bug out about at the end of the day as long as you're standing in the state of the wish fulfilled then what else matters try this implement these little hints of your imagined reality into your life now and see if it helps. You'll know if it's helping by how you feel. You'll know if it's working by the little signs and synchronicities that you're seeing. And for God's sake, when you get to the top of your mountain, my love, do not forget to recognize how high up you have come and enjoy the view. <laughs> and with that being said, Thank you for watching this video. I truly do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I trust you'll give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. So how did you like today's video and what video would you like to see next? You let me know in the comment section down below. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Toodles.